All right, in this video, we're gonna show doing multi-steps. Uh, one of the cool things I like about Automate with this task is, uh, my task, is uh, that you can do multiple steps. So let's go ahead and start capturing some steps. I'm gonna hit F1, and I'm gonna come in here, and let's let's say we wanted to click, um, we're gonna, let's, let's do, actually, we're gonna, here, we're gonna say move. We're gonna move the mouse there. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mouse move. Yeah, all right, now we're gonna hit F1 again. And now we're going to move it to the two section. And what I should be doing here also is to say display matches, right? Okay, so it found that one. Display matches found that one. Okay, next step, we're going to do that TH should be unique. What I also want to do on this probably is to make sure display matches that it finds one, right? So it finds it and it not only finds it, but it finds one because if it's not one, we might not want the first one, right? Um, and then the last one. Step four, display matches, great. Let's also set these to move mouse, both of those. Now we're gonna test, it's gonna go through all of these at the same time. So I'm gonna hit test, one, two, three, four. Wow, that was fast. Um, less than one second to go click those four points. So that worked the way I wanted it to. I could come in here and I could say, let me clear this step, or I could clear all steps. I could delete this step. So let's say we wanted to skip three, so I'm gonna delete the step. Run it, and now it should be go one, two, four. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because it's so fast, but uh, that's all right. Um, I trust it to do what it's saying. I can click clear all steps, uh, um, which would wipe out all of these. And I can hit duplicate step. Right now, duplicate step only duplicates the last step. It doesn't matter whether you have this selected or not. It, um, at least I haven't found a way to, let me, let me try it. Yeah, so it's just duplicating the last step. So I'll work with Maestri. We'll try to see if we can get that to duplicate which one you want. But again, it's so easy to capture them. I'm not sure that it, it really matters. Um, so that one would be the fourth, the second time. But let's go ahead and we're going to hit F5 and we're going to recapture it and push it up here. To, there we go. Um, and now let's test this. So it should go one, two, four, and then back to one. There's my mouse on one. And here's where I'm going to export this. Copies of the clipboard because I have my function, my AMT function in my library. Um, I don't have to have the whole. Oh. Did it... Boy, that's weird. Um, interesting. This shouldn't matter. Let me hit export. Something is up. There it goes. It 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 sank it behind the window. So now, oh come on, export, copy to clipboard. Great. There we go. Great. Now we're in business. Now I could save this, rerun it. I'm gonna launch it, and it's gonna go back and do those. But what I'd like to do is I'm gonna put in a sleep after each one of these. And we'll do a thousand. Obviously we don't need one after the last one. Um, so save it, reload it, run it. Now it's gonna slow it down one second in between each one. So there's two, there's four, and there's back to two again. Um, oh, it's interesting. Is that last one? That last one should have been one. Oh, maybe it did click it. Let me Let me try this again. One, three, four, and then back to one. I saw the mouse move, because we're doing mouse move. Now here, once you get used to this, oh, look at that, so this one was a left. Um, I didn't notice that. That one should say move. Now all four are gonna be move. So sit, oops, wrong one. Save this, reload, run. Now it's gonna move it to each one. One, two, four, and back up to one. So that's how you can export it and do what you want with it, right? After you, even though it's multi-layered, um, again, I can delete a given step or I can say clear steps and start over. So that's how you handle multiple steps. Again, the tool isn't built to do everything inside of it. It, it is nice. Maybe I was thinking I might add it where you can add a sleep, um, but generally speaking, um, that would be done in your auto hotkey script. All right, cheers.